Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vishwes Programming. Hope you're all doing good. Before me representing the intro of the YouTube channel, I'd like to convey this video is on Python programming. So in this particular video on the Python programming, I'm going to speak on the concept of uh, working with list. So in the particular concept of working with list, you're going to cover on few number of topics like, okay, what is an object, how to identify an object and modifying the list. In the concept of modifying the list, you're going to try on many kind of example in order of understanding the concept very briefly. So don't miss the video, watch the video until the end and Let's check out the intro guys. So hello guys, welcome back. So in this particular video, we are going to learn on working on list. So if you haven't checked out my uh, previous video, please do check out my previous video as because you're just going to know what is list, how are they, what are their types here, so each and everything, what are the examples, so each and everything I just told in this previous video. So please do check out that previous video, link in the description. So coming about this video, we have to know what is an object. So anything that is assigned to a variable is said to be called as an object, which is assigned to a variable is said to be called as an object, whether it may be string, whether it may be float, whether it may be integer, whether it may be list. So each and everything, these four kind of data types were said to be called as an object. So how to identify an object? In order of you identify an object, you just have to know what is an ID. So whenever the object has been created, it uses a specific ID. So where this idea has been stored, whenever you're uh, executing a program and you just, you just run down, uh, run kind of string integer or anything, you just run on the any kind of data type, it is data, data types, it just, it is going to store in the computer network, I mean computer storage. So in order of you uh, knowing the memory of it, this ID is going to uh, useful, ID is useful for it. So what you're going to do for checking out the ID of it, uh, you just have to, for checking out the unique ID of it, you just have to use the tag which is known as the ID of. For example, if you just check out what is the ID of A, okay, let me read out the ID of A, we just check out this screen, you are going to understand, 1400352972436 was the ID of A, yeah, it was a huge number, right, so it is the ID of A, and then uh, what we are going to do, how to find out the ID, so by using the, okay, ID, so we are going to use the ID of, in order of you finding out the, for example, if you just check out the screen, I'm going to find out the ID of H-E-L-L-O, nothing but the string, I'm going to find out the ID of H-E-L-L-O. So what is the ID of hello? So we just check out the screen, the output was 140589419285168. So it was also a huge number. It's like this different kind of IDs will be there for any kind of string, float, integer, list. So for each and everything there are, there are given some specific IDs which are stored in the computer uh, memory okay now let us check out the id of list okay for example we just check out this particular one so list a check out this link uh, okay this quote like list a is equal to one two three and list b is equal to one two three and let me click on print a of list of uh, a and print uh, print id of list of b so what you guys may think like you're going to get the same ideas as because uh, you're going to you have given the same numbers one two three and one two three you're going to get the same ideas right no this is uh, no you're going not you're not going to get the same ideas as because when you just keep on running on the program if it may be same values also it will be changing like i have taken two different variables like list a is equal to 1 to 3 and list b is equal to 1 to 3 but there is one change where it, there is no change in the values like list a is equal to 1 to 3 and list b is equal to 1 to 3 so the values have been not changed so you may be definitely thinking that you will be getting the unique idea as the same but for the list A, for the one assigned variable, you are going to get uh, one unique ID and the other assigned variable, if their values are same numbers also, you are going to get the other unique ID. So first for example was the unique IDs with the numbers were same, you are going to get the unique IDs different. Okay. And then we just check out the other example like uh, list A is equal to 1 to 3 and list B is equal to list A and print off uh, ID of list A and print off ID of list B. So what do you guys think? Oh, this time you just think correct as because. As I just took only one variable, like two, I just took two variables wherein list A is equal to 1 to 3, I did not even assign another variable like list B is equal to 1 to 3, I did not even assign this particular example. I just told list A is equal to 1 to 3 and list B is equal to list A. So I just took only one value, one variable with one value like list A is equal to 1 to 3 in the list and list B is equal to list A, that is in the list B, list A is stored and I'm going to print, print, print off list A and list B. So what I'm going to get in print off list A, I'm going to get uh, the ID of the same value. So in print A, I mean list A and B of the IDs, the values of the IDs was same. 
so if you just check it out one four zero double three four zero eight double seven one five two six four was the ids as because they i have taken only one value and two different kind of variables i just stored the one value in two different kind of variables so we are going to get the unique ids at this same so it's one of the example and let me check out the other example for example if you just check out one two uh, three and five and list b is equal to list a and what i'm going to do was in the third position i'm going to get the i'm going to uh, give the new variable new value which is known as the for for example one two three and five right so b list b is equal to list a that is in the list a what is the what are the values like one two three and five are going to come in the list b and list uh, a is equal to and list b in the list b what i'm going to do in the third position i need to get four like one two three and five is there no so one two three and four i need to get four in the fifth place like in the third place so now i'm going what i'm going to do i'm going to print off list a and b so what i'm going to get the output yeah you guys guessed correct so what i'm going to get the output was i'm going to get the output as same so one two three and four one two three and four as because i'm going to explain you see so what i have taken check out the code once print a first list a is equal to 1 2 3 and 5 so in the list a 1 2 3 and 5 was stored was stored and list b is equal to uh, list a so whatever the uh, values in the list a like 1 2 3 and 5 was stored in the list b now coming about the third one in the list uh, b i need to change the third position i just changed the third position as 4 so 1 2 3 and 4 so print off when i clicked on print off list b a and b so in the a what is there 1 2 3 and 4 after i mean that's because the computer checks out the third line so it uh, checks out the list a is equal to 1 2 3 and 4 and list b in the list b also 1 2 3 and 5 i mean 4 were present you guys get the point as because when the computer uh, checks out the third line in the b that is in the list b list a is stored so if you are just changing out the list b what is changing list a is changing so you're going to get 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3 and 4 as the output when you just click uh, print off print off the statements of print off A and print off B you're going to get the same values as the output. So this is one of the concept. You just have to don't confuse between okay I just I just change it to list B after that I just modified the third position. So I'm going to get 1, 2, 3 and 5 and after that I'm going to get the correct modified one. No, you're going to get the same values. You're going to get the modified values both of them like list A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4 and list B is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4 right? because you just uh, the computer checks out the third line and in the list A the same values are shown in the list B also the same values are stored. So this is one of the example okay and then let me check out the uh, third one. So in the third one, if you just check out the example, list A is equal to 1 and 2 and list B is equal to the same list A. I'm going to store like 1 and 2 are stored in the list B. And the list A, again I'm going to create the list same variable what I have taken for the first line. List A is equal to 6 and 7. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to concatenate both of them. No, uh, like, uh, yeah, I'm going to concatenate. No, no, in the next example, I'm going to concatenate them. In this particular example, let me make your clear uh, understanding. I'm not going to concatenate them. I'm going to take list, uh, I'm going to print both of them. So first in the list A is equal to 1 and 2 and list B is equal to list A that is 1 and 2 are stored in, again in the list B and list A 6 and 7. So when I click on the print A first what the computer executes like what I am going to get the output. Yeah you guys have guessed it correct. I am going to get the output as 6 and 7 as because the computer checks out the third line. The compiler checks out the third line that is 6 and 7 and then what I am going to get the output as 1 and 2. Let me check out I am going to get the output as 1 and 2. Yeah. I got, uh, I got the first one as the 6 and 7 and the second one as the 1 and 2. So as the, when you just compile that one, the computer checks out the third line and just uh, gives us the 6 and 7 as the example. And if you just click on again, I mean, if you just uh, when, the comp when the compiler checks out the other line, it gives us the 1 and 2. So 6 and 7 and 1 and 2 are the output for this. Okay, this is one of the example. And let me check out another one. So for example, you just check out this particular one. So list A is equal to 1 and 2 and list B is equal to list A and list A is equal to, in this particular example, I am going to concatenate both of them. So list A is equal to 1 and 2, list B is equal to list A, that is list B, in list B, in list, B list A was stored and list A, I mean list A is equal to list A plus 6 and 7. In the list A only I have to get, I mean this few of the values have been added to the list A. So 1, 2, 6 and 7 has been added and when I click on the print statements, print of, a and, uh, print of list of A and print of list of B, what I am going to get, yeah, you guys guessed it, right? it is a simple one, right? So in the list A, what I am going to get was 1, 2, 6 and 7 and the, again when I am going to run it on, I am going to get 1 and 2. As because these values, so in the list third line, I just added the, uh, I mean I just added some values to the variable which is known as the list A. So uh, what I am going to get was, uh, was I'm going to get 1, 2, 6 and 7 and the other one, it just check out the first line like list A is equal to 1 and 2. I'm going to get the output as 1 and 2. 
so this one this one is a clear cut example for this okay and modifying list with a compound assignment okay while our compound assignments plus is equal to okay so what i'm going to do for example we just take, uh, check out this particular example list a is equal to one and two and list b is equal to list a that is one and two was stored in the list b and then i'm going to take a take again the same variable of the first statement like list a is equal to uh, uh, one and two so same variable i'm just taking out list a is equal to six and seven by using this compound assignment operator by using this compound assignment operator now what I'm going to do, print of list A and list of uh, print of list B. So what I'm what you're thinking that you're going to get the output. Yeah, you're going to get the output as 1, 2, 6, and 7, and 1, 2, 6, and 7. I'm going to explain you why. So because for just check out the particular uh, code here list a is equal to 1 and 2 and list b is equal to list a that is in the list b list a were present like 1 and 2 are present now coming about the third line i'm going to use the compound assignment operator here so if you just check out list a is equal to plus is equal to the compound assignment operator was present and then what i'm going to do 6 and 7 i need to get 1 2 6 and 7 i am just telling you and then when i'm going to uh, print out the both of them what i'm going to get was i'm going to get this same added number while using this compound assignment operator you're going to get this same number like 1 2 6 and 7 and 1 2 6 and 7 it is a clear cut example by using this compound assignment you can just uh, i mean what i'm going to tell, tell you was compound assignment operator will be ex uh, updating the existing uh, list instead of creating a new list so it will be updating the existing list. what of the list present in the uh, list uh, like uh, c like list A, it is going to update in the same one, like 1, 2, 6, and 7, 1, 2, 6, and 7 is, is going to be represented as output. So this is one of the examples. Now let me check it out the uh, 6, 1 example. So we just check out a list A, another example, see, it is going to be very easy. So list A is equal to 1 and 2, and list B is equal to 3, comma list A. So what I'm going to do, so in list A is equal to 1 and 2. In the list B, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another value and then list A. So 3 is there, 1 and 2 is present. And then in the list A, first position, I just, I just need to change one, I mean, I just need to change four. See, a first position means in the third, like one, two, uh, in the second place, in the A is equal to one and two, I just written, right? In the second one, like one, two, in the second two, I need to get four. Instead of two, I need to get four. Okay, so what I'm going to get, uh, instead of two, I need to get four. For this one, what I'm going to do is just have to write the code as list A is equal to one and two, list B is equal to list uh, 3 comma list a i need to get 3 also i need uh, one value is added and then i just assign to the list uh, a and i'm going to get what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the first uh, first value like uh, 0 1 right in the first position what is there 2 is there so i'm going to change the two uh, two value as 4 and i'm going to click on uh, print of list a and list b so what are you guys thinking that you're going to get the output yeah you guys are think uh, thought correct that's because you're going to get first when i click on the print of list of a what I'm going to get was, I'm going to get the output as, okay, 1, 4. Okay, the computer checks out, the, the compiler checks out the third line as because I just told that to change the first position as 4. So, 1 and 4 will be going to the get, uh, it is the output. And when you click on the print of B, what I'm going to get, this 3 was added. So, what I'm going to get was 1, 1, I mean, sorry, 3, 1, 4. So in the list here, first it changes, the, changes out the position, like 1 and 4 will be the output. And when I click on the uh, print of list of B, I'm going to get 3. And the, say again, list was created and 4, I mean 1 and 4. So it was quite easy. So if you just check out this particular screen, you're going to understand very clearly. Now, uh, list, I mean another example. Okay, with this, uh, I'm going to close out the example. It's a very simple one. So just check out this particular one. So A is equal to 2 and list A is equal to 1 comma A. So what I'm going to do in the, uh, I just took a variable which is known as the A and in the A I just stored some value which is known as the 2. I just stored in A value 2. Now list A is equal to 1 comma A. That is in the list A what I'm going to uh, uh, insert the value as 2. I'm going to insert the value, uh, variable as 2. I mean A. In the A variable what is the value assigned it is 2. So 1 comma A will, uh, 2 will be the uh, output for the second line. And then if you just check out the third line I just, uh, I just told to print off the third line. So what are you going to do? You are going to get the output as 1 and 2. Yeah, okay. That's okay. Now see, A is equal to 3. I just explained, uh, I sent A is equal to 3 and I just click on a list print of list A. So what are you going to get the output? Like, uh, I will be getting this 1 and 2 and 3. Eh? No. You are going to get the output as 1 and 2, 1 and 2. That's like, because if you just check out the third line, okay. You just check out the fourth line. A is equal to 3. Okay. Here, updating the immutable objects okay will not have the effect on the values uh, in the list as the reference will be changed so in order of uh, the as the reference are going to change the update uh, the 
what are the effect i mean the values values will not be affected because they are immutable you just have to make a new point i mean you just have to clear cut you just have to mention in your brain they are immutable okay so so what i'm going to do so what in this particular example so a is equal to 1 uh, a is equal to 2 and list a is equal to 1 uh, and a and if i am going to tell the print of print of them like print of uh, list a and i'm going to tell you a is equal to 3 to the compiler and i am going to print of uh, list i mean print a list of a so you may guys think you may guys thought that uh, you are going to get 1 uh, and uh, okay 1 and 3 uh, i mean 1 and 2 and then you are going to get the value as 3 no you are going to get 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 as because they are immutable okay Okay, this is what the example you just learned in this particular video. By updating, I will be reading out one statement out here. Updating the immutable objects will not affect the values in the list as reference will be changed. So while updating the immutable values, it does not affect the uh, it does not affect the values as because these uh, reference will be changed. Okay, so you just guys learned many kind of concepts in this particular video, right? So just uh, I mean have seen fifteen uh, like. six seven examples of uh, in the modifying the list and i just told you what is an object and how to identify an object uh, what is an id how to uh, check out the id of each and every like string uh, integer float each and everything how to just out just check out the id so each and everything i just told this particular video so uh, if you like the video so please do comment down in the comment section or if you just need any kind of improvements if you just want to know if you are having any kind of doubt please don't forget to comment down and if you just want to message me uh, personally in instagram for knowing this many kind of uh, videos you just check out the a description so thank you so thank you guys for watching the video until the end so please don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel vishwesh programming thank you guys have a great day